Hi everyone, Jess with Jay Hoffman Knives. Going to do a quick video today on uh, one thing that I absolutely hate doing and that is wrapping uh, blades in foil for heat treatment. Um, only needs to be done or generally only needs to be done for air hardening steels, uh, stainless steels, um, you know the ones that, that get up into the 1900, 2000, 2100 for, uh, for hardening. So um, this is one I did recently and you'll see later in the video a couple of uh, smaller ones that I did. A um, couple things about heat treat foil, it's a, a stainless steel foil, I don't remember how thick it is, um, but it comes in two different grades, it comes in grade 309 and 321, and just the opposite of the numbers, the 309 is for high heat, and the 321 is for low temperature. Now when I say low temperature, um, it, it's actually good up to 2000 degrees is the 321 so it's still a pretty high temperature and I always used a 309 for uh, for all of my heat treating but the 309 is way more expensive than the 321 so if I can get away with the 321 on steels like AEBL or um, CPM 154 I'm gonna use the the cheaper stuff the last time I bought foil I uh, searched all over before I um, found the right price or the best price I should say and ended up getting 50 feet of 321 and 50 feet of 309 so if you're interested in where I got the foil just uh, send me a message I'm not uh, real keen on doing a plug for the company I guess but uh, I'll, I'd be happy to share the information with you otherwise most of the knife shops have it um, you know, if, if you're not going to buy it in big quantities, you're probably better off just getting it from, from one of the knife supply houses, uh, USA Knife Maker or um, whoever, I, I guess, whoever you use, they should have it. So um, I'll be wrapping up two little uh, blades. I'm going to do two in a packet. Um, not something I always recommend, but these are small blades and they'll fit in my quench plates very easily. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me. I'm on Facebook under jhoffmanknives.com or else Jess Hoffman. Um, either one will get a hold of me. Also on Instagram and, uh, of course, my YouTube channel. So thank you much. So I'm going to be wrapping a couple of uh, AEDL skinners. These are... Uh, just a couple of uh, 78 thousandths thick um, boning knives or maybe little fillet knives. Not quite sure how they're going to finish out. Really small knives like this I will package two in a uh, package of foil. Um, and knives that haven't been ground yet I'll package two in a foil. Um, I've had problems in the past if I've already put the, the primary bevel on a knife um, that the edge gets kind of uh, wonky when you do two of them at the same time. I'm not sure what the reasoning is, but it's happened a couple times. I don't do it anymore. So I've got a uh, appropriately sized piece of, uh, this is the low temp foil, uh, 321 I believe it is. It's good up to 2000 degrees. The uh, AEBL I uh, only bring up to 1975. So it'll be fine with that 2,000 degree foil. So take the foil, I fold it in half. I lay both of my knives in there. I try to keep them so that the, uh, the blade edge doesn't, uh, don't come in contact with each other. I mean, uh, I think that'll work a little bit better for a layout. You've already got it folded and halved and, and uh, creased. Make sure you've got about an inch on each end and an inch the uh, this way also so you've got some room to fold over. Um, I just tap them down so that they are right at the, the edge of the crease and ever so carefully without cutting your fingers 
I fold over about a quarter of an inch, a quarter to a half an inch of material. Now if you don't have this, you'll notice this wasn't cut perfectly straight so it's uh, kind of overlapped. That's not a problem. But I just kind of fold it over like that. Then I've got this little hammer. It's got a real hard plastic head on it. And I use that to actually fold or crease the, um, the fold so that it's nice and tight. And you'll see that it's a nice, nice tight crease. Then I fold it over one more time. And again, the key is to not cut yourself or to get this stuff underneath your, your fingernail. Um, neither one is, is uh, very nice. Wrapping blades in foil is probably the thing I hate most about working with stainless steels. Um, otherwise, I, I love that the blades come out nice and clean and um, really easy to finish after the heat treat. Once again I take the hammer and the hard hammer head and um, crease it. So now I can kind of feel where my uh, edges are, or the, the ends of my blades. And I'm once again going to fold over about a quarter of an inch on one end. This is where the hammer comes in handy that you actually kind of tap them down first. This first fold right where you've already folded over the one edge is, uh, is kind of lumpy and it kind of helps to hammer it down. And we are going to fold this once again. It's important to remember when you're folding the second time that you don't overlap onto the actual blade steel inside the pouch. So hammer that down and slide it across to crease it. So you'll notice the uh, the edge of the blade or the handle in this is you know about eighth of an inch away from the the fall. Make sure that your blades are still perfectly flat in there also. You don't want them one on top of the other or uh, anything. When you do a, a, a plate quench, you want to make sure that the plates are coming in contact with both pieces of steel in there equally. So if you're only wrapping one blade in the in the pouch, that's uh, that's fine. So this is uh, we're just going to repeat this to the other end. Now, some people put a piece of uh, paper in there or something to burn up the little bit of oxygen that's in there. Um, I normally don't do that. I have on occasion and sometimes I do, but um, not, not normally. So once again, I'm folding over this edge. Now, when I'm making my last fold, I'll usually fold it to fit um, right to the edge or within an eighth of an inch of the end of the steel uh, just to take up as much room in the pouch as possible. So I'm making this fold a little bit longer than the others and hammering down the seams and then crease it. So you can still see the outline of the blades in the uh, in the pouch. There is a little bit of air in there. There's not a, a whole lot of air. Um, the other thing you can see, I've, I've got a, a halfway decent space right here, so I am just going to fold this one more time just to take up that extra space in the pouch so that the, the blades don't have room to move around. So. So now my main long edge has been folded over three times. There's no oxygen getting in there, obviously. And my two ends have been folded over twice. That is a finished uh, pouch for uh, heat treating AEBL in this instance. 
If you have any questions, let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. If you have got a better way of doing it, I would love to see that also. There's multiple ways to skin a cat and I'm always willing to learn a new technique. So thank you much.